Hey guys, Crowley's back with another episode of Pillars. I'm here with Mr. Ilian the Chaste, our pale elf shield bearer of Elka. Elka. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, to be honest with you, but that's okay. So, alrighty. Let's clicky do our way around. Get this outlaw. That's oh, gonna be a pretty easy battle, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, she's got some Caro Golan. Gain plus ten deflection plus twenty gain minus four and carry girl and crash. Not that like great. Not for what I want anyway. Ten percent burn damage. I'll put this in my quick slot. So a quick save. Is, um, endurance. Gotta make sure that I'm doing okay. He's doing alright, actually, against this guy, anyway. We might be good. I have one potion of minor regen. Minor regeneration. Uh, well, we'll take that right now. Why not? Boom. Boom. I am getting low on actual health, though. So, we'll have to pay attention to that for sure. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Boy, I'm having an awful hard time with this guy. Oh, six. Six damage. Alright. Let's switch sets. Harder with the uh, yeah. with the rapier. That sucks. I feel like I should have rested. Oopsie. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. What do you got? Or heal. Heal. Not too bad, actually. It's a lot of. I'd be glad to. He's fighting in the trees. He's already got him. Okay. Just. Oh, there you go. Good. One more good hit. One more critical. Make a crit. That's tw that was 12. Oh, you did crit, actually. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me, Gillian. Gillian? 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 Nice. That rules. I'm here. Okay. So. This. Ooh. You have a cape. I want that. I kind of also want that. There. Let's see. Let's see. Do 
nice. And then put the... I actually kind of like that. Put that in there. I'm actually, I'm just going to put that in there. Also, I don't care about that. Okay. to you. By the flame, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I'd be stuck cooking for those ignorant reasons for the rest of my life, or until they were bored with me, I suppose. I must get back home. I only hope they haven't hired a replacement. The dwarf looks aghast. Uh, listen, next time you're in Gilded Vale, stop by the Black Hound Inn. I'll let Pasha know that you've done, uh, what you've done for me, and I'm sure she'll do right by you in turn. Oh, to be back in my oven again. Gilded Vale, major positive. Nice. Nice. I'm here. Late for dinner. Speak with the innkeeper. All right. So now we have a real, not a real reason, but we have another reason to go to, there we go. Ooh, wham. And that. All right. Okay. I think we've explored most of the Elwood. Um... There's a cave with a bear up there, like Naunton said in the last video. Um, but, you know, I I know that I can't do that on my own, so... We'll just head to Gilded Vale, and then maybe get a party together, and take care of it. I actually might make a, a couple of custom NPCs, because I think I might like that. You know what? I think that's probably what I'll do. Must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Do you welcome everyone this way? Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? That's a rather personal question. And an important one, nevertheless. Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. I've been feeling strange ever since this close, close call with a Beowick. Is there someone in town who could help? Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself. It's because she's dead. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad but if you're set on fighting a body of the to do that. so a dead Audra pedal to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Well, uh, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone in Gilded Vale understand our rules. Yeah, no, I have no desire to talk to you any longer. Keep out of... Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. 
three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. What do you mean? You come to us at a time of mourning. The legacy has struck at the heart of Gilded Vale. Our efforts to redeem ourselves in the eyes of Barath must be redoubled. Does this affect the Lord's offer to new settlers? I can be sure of nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest. The inn, or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon enough. See ya. Wouldn't want to but 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 be ya. You see four people gathered by the door at the end. Their raised voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument is reaching its climax. At climax. The first figure raises his hands for calm, and his face partially obscured by a hood. But his height and stature suggests an elf. Ooh, fellow elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Everyone calm down. Whatever this is about, I'm sure it's an overreaction. We're humble, we're humble folk, but we're no fools. Not like he thinks of mocking us while he shelters in our village. Uh, yeah. We don't take, we don't take to that kind, of, that kind of talk from foreigners, especially not a Darren's. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fy, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! I'll cut that barrel-looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarreled. That's where you're wrong. This is unnecessary. Wouldn't you rather be inside drinking and then out here arguing? We don't want your charity either, foreigner. Sounds suspiciously like you're defending him. Alright. I'm half dead, but they are half dead. <laughs> Valiantly kill some zero level humans. As the last of the attackers fall, the L turns to you, the tension almost gone from his smooth face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. You're welcome. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. Um, yeah. He straightens his hood and does some other stuff. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvuser, at your service. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? I was traveling with a caravan. We were separated near some ruins. In Gwythan ruins? Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? A beowick. And you survived? I've heard such a thing was impossible. But it seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, either way, I should get going. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered and wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Please, yes, I love you so much. Excellent. I shall follow you. Awesome. Cool. 
has prepared Kalikov Sunless Grasp. I kind of like that one. A little bit melee, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll just keep that. We'll just keep that going. I like it. Yes. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and walk in. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. There's so much ex exposition in the beginning part of like the game. Which, I mean, is fine, but it's just like, Absolutely. man. Sometimes it's just like, oh, I just want to move on. But I, I do love the dialogue, though, and I, I love Aloth. He's so cool. How do you do? Hello, and welcome to the... Oh, it's you. Tenfrith told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough, Gilded Vale Moderate Positive. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discounts on drinks, rooms... Tenfrith said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. So, uh, what would you like? I could use some reliable help. Uh, hang on, I wanna see. Yeah, I leveled up. I wanted to level up, to be honest with you. That's what I really wanted. Um, so, we're gonna do... that. Yeah, perfect. Uh... Zealous focus. Now, the zealous aura is an aura that allows me. We're gonna go with zealous endurance plus three. <laughs> what the fuck? He really likes that game. Plus three damage reduction. Yeah. As much as I want to take flames of devotion, uh, where he's a shield bearer of Elka. Um, he really is probably going to focus more on defensive stuff. Um, cannot be active with any other zealous auras, so... Yeah. We'll take that one. I'm just going to activate that right now. Oh, and I have more health now, too. And it's a, uh, it's a modal, so it's it's just active all the time. Basically, it's a, a applies a passive buff, so he is getting... Plus three damage reduction, plus, you know, so that's kind of cool. So so anyways, and he is third level, so he gets access to second level spells, which is wonderful. And I'm just going to leave that those points. Okay, so let's go ahead and do... Bewildering spectra Spectracle. Spectracle. Ooh. Paralyzed, boiling pustule, sickening those nearby. Target and then AoE. It's a cool one. Faux AoE. I'm gonna take Curse of Black and Sight just because it's so helpful. Um, and I kind of want to take Ray of Fire as well. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that take too long, Zachary. Five burn damage over time and damage over time when dealt damage for 20 seconds. What? Console Hot's Corrosive Siphon. 15 seconds, okay. Hmm. I'll take that one. I don't think I ever really use that one, so. Awesome! And we'll to. go see. Yep. Let's Absolutely. See what Tenfrith wants. Ah, it's you, my savior. It's so good to be back. Do not think that I will let this go unrewarded. I have decided that you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. We have gained the savory pie recipe, a savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travel. Thanks, buddy. I'm here. All right. And I think that's where we're going to call it good for the evening. Yeah, let's see. Okay. That was good enough. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like and subscribe if you're into what I do. But I honestly don't give a shit that you like and subscribe. I'm just happy that you're watching. If you made it to this part of my video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, and I love you. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, next episode is going to be me uh, getting some hirelings so that, you know, we don't have to spend a whole episode watching me build characters, so, or 
yeah, be, you know. Anyway, bye.